Hello there internet and welcome to Geeky Ant. Now I decided to change things up a bit here for the channel and I decided to bring out a video game that I played very much a few years ago and it's called Heroes of the Storm. Uh, this game is developed by Blizzard uh, Activision Interactive and it is basically your MOBA type game which is multiplayer online battle arena. I have not played this game uh, in quite some time. I want to say at least a year and a half, two years. And I'll even show it to you guys here. Um, so, Deathwing here was released back in BlizzCon of last year. That gave was given everybody for free. Uh, but I have not purchased or played any of these new characters here. Uh, so the whole objective of this game is to capture your opponent's core essentially so you want to get to your opponent's other opposite end and basically defeat it so i'll go ahead and um i don't know what i'm going to be doing here so we'll play with the character that i'm pretty familiar with so i don't look that bad uh and we're going to do quick match so there's basically there's ranked games there's uh everything is co-op so basically you're playing with a team of five players uh, so it's five ver versus five, and you want to have a well-balanced team. Uh, you want to have a tank, which is a, a class that can uh, take heavy damage and basically be a shield for your team. You want to have what's called uh, an attacker or DPS damage per second. And those are basically your characters that are strictly attacking. And then in the case of like Deckard Kane here shown on the screen, uh, those are your support roles. Where basically they'll heal your group. Uh, they'll shield your group. They'll do anything uh, to help protect uh, the group. So, you know what? I am going to go and... I don't know. Um, I have no idea who to play with. Let's just... You know what? We'll play with... Uh, uh, I, I don't know. I can go with... Uh, this game has changed so much to where they actually split up the support roles into healers and... Uh, support and healing. Um, so basically, you know what? I'm gonna stick it, stick it pretty easy, and I will go with. I don't even know who's part of the meta now. Um, the meta is a key term in video games where things that are in the norm right now. So basically, things that are uh, constantly being used. Uh, you know, people are always picking those things to play with. Uh, I honestly have no idea, but you can see here the vast amount of characters. Uh, oh, here we got someone with raised experience. You know, we'll go with Stukov here. Um, so Stukov here is a, a support role. He's a healer, and I forget what his talents are here. Uh, I don't even know the builds. Oh, that's cool. So they added a build. So a build is basically every level here that you see, you'll be able to uh, receive a talent. And these help develop your skills and abilities to prolong the game and everything and become stronger throughout the game. Now, the game lasts usually around, I want to say, 20 minutes or so. But then again, I haven't played in a long time, so I, I will look a little bad here. <laughs> but that's the whole point of this video is to basically show how bad it is when you haven't played a video game in so long um, to show how it is so once this actually you know what I was about to cut off the video but here we go so we're going into this game here and uh, it's gonna be interesting I can tell you that much um, so it looks like, so the reason why this, I stopped playing this game for a while is because there are different types of MOBA games. Uh, the most popular one is called League of Legends. Uh, this one failed for several reasons. Um, the biggest one was that it came out too late in the game. Uh, typically in... A lot of business models the first one to come to market will succeed first and blizzard unfortunately came out about a year and a half later after league of legends and dota uh were released 
Um, me personally, I chose to stick with Heroes of the Storm just because I am very familiar with the characters uh, throughout all the different games within this game. Uh, so basically, this game incorporated all of Blizzard franchises into this game. So you got characters from StarCraft, World of Warcraft, uh, Overwatch, all within this video game. Uh, so let's see here. So I... I will keep a clear mind. Do not know what to do. But basically my role as a support player is to not be in the lane here where you can see where my mouse is. Uh, where you can't even see the map because my face is covering it. So, um, I totally forgot what, what my build was. So you know what? I'm just going to go with this one. Because I remember doing the quest. So, I am riding on a little... My I totally forgot how to play. So, I remember that. Okay. An opportune intervention, friend. Alright. So let's get the blinds here. So, you can see, it's just basically, we got... Joanna here, the one that's got Unstoppable, uh, she's our tank. So basically, she's on the front line. She's going up and, you know, receiving all the damage. We have Tracer right here. Um, I am getting wrecked. So you can see, it's basically like you're just constantly battling to get positioning. Uh, so also there's what's called map objectives. Uh, so in this game here, you'll see that there will be points where you're going to be spawning. And you have to go and retrieve those. So, let's see here. Uh, now, there's a lot of different traits. People study this game, uh, these types of games, for a long time and spend, you know, eight to ten hours a day uh, playing these games. And studying the maps and studying uh, the matchups within the characters and uh, there's just a lot of timing also involved where you have to what's called a lane rotation and you are gonna die or I'm gonna die I even forgot that the shortcuts um, uh, I don't know what I'm picking for my my talents here. That feels much better. So now we have to go and have a control point taken up. Nicely done. It's nice to know that it, it, playing these games or doing anything that you haven't done in a you know a few months, a year, whatever it is. Um, it's kind of like riding a bike, where basically your your muscle memory, like my fingers, are in the same position where they should have been. Uh, so it's pretty interesting that like I have this retained most of that. Oh man, I am messing up hardcore. I need to stay back because we have I'm gonna be wrecked. Well done. So Stukov here, this little 
squid looking thing that I'm shooting out is silences any enemy that comes within that area and silence means that they will not be able to use any abilities if they stand within that little ground uh, I am not going to get in that I, I don't know, I'll go for this one. May is pretty strong, but not strong enough. So you can see here, we're going up the middle lane. And we just basically have to reach... Oh boy, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I am not dead. I am good, but I do need to, uh, oh boy, uh, what's the button to leave? Oops. Shit. It's B. Okay. So I called for retreat, um, to basically go back to my base and heal up, uh, cause I was gonna die. So you can see here, you know, I got the number one healing cause I'm the healing role. Okay, now we should have our alts, and I always go for the massive shove. Basically, I just shoved that guy. And I may die and get stunned here. I am not. Yep, I'm dead. Ah, so that was fun. So, you can see here on one of our previous videos, I played a game of Overwatch and. This one, you can clearly tell, this is an overhead view where you have different lanes and everything uh, versus, you know, being the first person shooter here. Um, what you guys can't see on the video here is underneath my lovely face is a mini map. And that's where I'm controlling where to go and where I'm basically telling my character to go, essentially. I can't even see think right now somebody's calling for retreat uh, which means something is going to be happening here pretty soon so right now tracer down here is calling for uh, to get this little mini camp and this camp here will help us push the lane um, to help push our forces to the enemy base and that's the whole point of it it's basically uh, so now another control point is going to unlock which basically means that's that's another objective but what you guys can't see here is on the bottom of our map we have a team fight going on and uh, this can heavily sway uh, sorry guys but like not even Uh... Oh, that's dumb. So what I remember... Uh, hold on. What I remember back at playing with Dukov is uh, my E trait, my E ability, lurking arm, as long as I don't move... You, uh, the, that area will remain silenced. However, now I see that uh, it's it's not the case anymore. It's got a set timer, as you can see here. I just I just noticed that. Uh, this is not 
Oh, I got inmate. That's nice. That's nice. I'm dead. So they have, uh, uh, they have Anduin. I don't know what his traits are or abilities. I just know he's a support healer role. Uh, they got Asmodan, who's a specialist, or I guess they got rid of that role. Um, Zul from the Diablo lore, uh, Diablo universe, I guess you could call it. Um, he's uh, basically a lane pusher, so he can resurrect a bunch of minions, and he can basically traverse a lane himself. Um, so right now, we've won the Protector, as you guys can see here. Uh, and they're calling for assistance. And we got our two tanks, May and Joanna, in there. So basically, it's like a mega tank we got going on. And we only have our shielder. We don't. Get out. Uh oh. I they are targeting me. Oh, they do not like me. <laughs> they do not like me, and I can tell you why. Because we have a Tassiter, who's a support role, outperforming so everybody. Power. So here, Impressive. he's got number one power dam hero damage, number one siege damage, which means he's doing the most damage to the buildings, uh, self-healing or shielding, experience contribution, which basically how much experience he's contributed to the team, and as you can see... I am not doing much, uh, but I am giving the most healing, but our support person is outdoing our assassin, which is, if this were a ranked game, that would be a bad situation. This, this person would be getting yelled at, because uh, there's a lot of um, toxicity uh, within video games. Getting jacked up here. Some diseases are the cure. I'm just gonna follow Tassiter because he 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 knows what he's doing. So that snowball thing, that's May's ultimate, I'm assuming. Um, she can do some nasty damage. So you can see here up on the top screen, uh, 
those countdowns are how much time they have left to resurrect and come back. Uh, so it looks like we got about a 10 second uh, opportunity here. I don't even know what I've been choosing for my my abilities. Press on to victory. So you can see it's just uh, a lot of action going on and you gotta keep up with like where the main battle is on the map, where where to position yourself and up here on the top in the middle uh, that's the team level uh, so right now we got a three level advantage which means that we have our final ults uh, compared to the other team get that lady out of the way I don't even think I completed my quest so my very first uh, So, that big spider looking guy is Asmodan, and he is from the Diablo universe, and I call that the basketball shot. Um, basically, it's a globe where he, uh, he, it looked like from that kind of damage, he went with a build that basically just powers up that ability. Uh, so the more times he hits people with it, the stronger it gets, and throughout the game, uh, he's just been getting it. So now... You can see on the top, uh, the enemy team has jumped up two levels because they've gained experience quickly. And uh, that's not good for us because throughout later in what's called the late game, so when you get towards the 15 minutes or up, uh, the late game, your, your respawn times are longer, uh, things aren't happening as fast, so you the, what's critical is if you make a mistake in the late game, it's, it's not good. So... Now this is what's called a wipe, um, for those like five seconds. Uh, so right now you can see here on the right on the right side of the screen uh, we got 86% uh, where they are going to be getting that giant mech. So our best course of action is to uh, quickly just defend this area here, because. Uh, because they are just destroying this area. And now we have to go and defend this one. Just because that's the way we have to do it. Um, they're going to rush the core. That's what it was. Core. You have to get to your enemy's core. Like in the late game, it just gets really intense. And people are trying to run away, but we don't let them. That's enough of that. that guy's name is P on you. That's the kind of names we get. Oh shit. I, that was a mistake, see? That's what's called a mistake. I almost got 2v1 there. 2 yes. versus 1. And okay, now we need to rush this core. Mid then core. Yeah. So you can see that the enemy team has no 
defense right now. So you can see here, right here on the screen, uh, we should be able to finish this off, hopefully. And that's called uh, GG, which is good game, so I honestly was not expecting uh, to win uh, my first game back in, I don't know, a year and a half. Uh, the last time I played this game was when Orphea was released, which I think was BlizzCon 2018. So a year and a half is not too bad. Um, of course, I'm not on the top five players, but um, that's it. So Heroes of the Storm, guys, it's a free-to-play game. Um, and it's it's one interesting game where, uh, where basically you can just go ahead and do what you want and everything. And uh, don't have to worry about the individual performances. But if you are a competitive person, I don't recommend it. Um, but it is a great game. So I do enjoy playing it from time to time. Uh, until then, my friends, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like, obviously, and go ahead and drop a comment below. Go ahead and let us know what you want to see from us. I will be having some more videos uploading uh, very soon. Until then, don't forget to geek out, and we'll see you soon, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.